and welcome back to my channel. My name is Brittany and this is Brittany Allen Crafts. I have five Dollar Tree Valentine's Farmhouse DIYs for you today. And this video will also have some materials from In Love Art Shop that I cannot wait to show you guys. They have some amazing DIY items that I really think you're going to see. And the price for these things are like just a little bit more than Dollar Tree. I'm not kidding you one bit and you get better quality. So let's go ahead and get started. Go ahead and subscribe if you haven't already. Hit that thumbs up, turn on the notification bell, share with friends and family. Let's get started. So what you're gonna need for the first DIY is this. There's no place like home. You're gonna start by taking off the home part. You don't have to take it off if you wanna leave this as a reversible sign, but I wanted to be able to use the home part uh, later on so anyways now we're just gonna take off our jute hanger and then we're just gonna remove the sticker by using our little scraper tool and then I sand it where the residue was and I went ahead and sanded the whole sign really lightly and wiped it down to remove any of the dust from it now I'm gonna use my ivory wave release chalk paint and I'm going to give my sign three coats of ivory paint and then we'll be back All right, now we're gonna grab our stamp from In Love Art Shop and I chose the bigger piece to use. And then I'm just gonna use some ink that I picked up from Walmart and I'm gonna go over this whole little stamp and then I'm gonna do each side of the sign with it. And you guys, these stamps that they have, they're only a couple bucks and they are absolutely beautiful. I am so in love with how this sign turned out just by using this one stamp so let me know what you think down in the comments um, I'm gonna have a link down in my description so that you guys can pick up these stamps if you want to but uh, so now I'm just gonna use my hot glue gun and glue down the Valentine metal word from Dollar Tree and after I give you a close-up look of how detailed that stamp is then we're gonna go ahead and glue or not glue we're gonna go ahead and add our jute twine back in for a hanger and then that will be it for this DIY. So simple, so easy and I am absolutely in love with how it turned out. I just tied uh, two knots on each side to keep the jute from coming out but yeah. So this is how it turned out. You guys, so literally so simple. It took me like five minutes to do this whole DIY. Again, I'm interested to know what you guys think about that rose stamp. But let's go ahead and move on to DIY number two. And this will be a love sign. And everything is from Dollar Tree. And um, a couple things are from, or one of the things are from In Love Art Shop. But so we're going to start out by painting our wood love word with the ivory. And then we're going to paint the other half of it with folk art in linen. We're going to give both sides of the love sign two coats of the two paints
All right, so now I'm just going to measure out and cut the ribbon from In Love Art Shop, and then I'm just going to glue down each side. And I did it kind of in the middle of the picture frame because I really, really liked the way this hung. And this is how that turned out. Um, I just went and looked at their website, and this ribbon was sold out right now. This obviously is the beginning of February, so that could change, but... Let's go ahead and move on to DIY number three. It's a neutral rose stamped love decor. And we're just going to take this little love sign from the Dollar Tree. And we're going to give the whole thing a coat of, or a couple coats of ivory chalk paint. And then I'm going to take this little rose background stamp. And I'm going to cover it with this Hampton Art pigment ink. And I am just going to stamp half of it and then stamp the other half with it and add a little bit of ink in between those two as you will see <laughs> and then I'm going to actually end up giving the top of the love sign a coat of the linen paint how beautiful is that are those roses on I love the way the black and the white look together but I just wanted to add something else to this because it just seems so plain that's why I went ahead and added the linen. But so that is going to be it for this DIY, you guys. I know, again, so simple, but I really, really love the way this looks next to all my decor. And I'm really on this neutral tone thing. I don't know. Let me know if y'all are into the neutrals or if y'all want to see me do some colorful DIYs. Let's go ahead and move on to DIY number quattro or four. <laughs> and it is a Be Mine wall art. So this is one of the bags from Dollar Tree and I'm just going to rip it up and cut off the front of it and then once I get that cut off I'm going to just measure and make sure that it's the same length on both sides of the Be Mine Heart and then I'm going to use my ruler to make an exact cut off both sides. Alright, so now I'm just going to cover the whole sign with the Mod Podge on top of the sign. It really didn't work out trying to smooth this sign out. I mean, it did, but it wasn't as perfect as I would have liked it to have been. But so now I'm going to grab my uh, ribbon tape from In Love Art Shop. And you guys, I really, really like this stuff because you don't have to use any hot glue. So I'm just going to cut out uh, the size I need for each side. And like I said, I... I'm definitely going to order more of this because the problem with gluing down ribbon is you can see the glue through the ribbon and you don't have to deal with that issue with this ribbon because um, it's ribbon tape but it sticks really well but if you mess up it pulls up just as easy but you don't have to worry about it coming up or uh, getting stuck and not being able to remove it. But so this is how it looks with the ribbon on there. And you can just buy the ribbon from Dollar Tree and uh, use your hot glue gun to glue that down. But this ribbon was only a few bucks from In Love Art Shop. I will actually place the price right here. But um, I'm just going to glue down some jute twine and then add glue on top of the uh, of the jute twine. And this is how it turned out. I do really, really like it, especially because of the lace. Just added something to it that it really, really needed. Um, but I wasn't happy that it didn't smooth out like I wanted it to. But before I rant, let's go ahead and move on to DIY number five. This will be our last DIY. You're going to need this Work That Crown metal sign. And we're going to make a magnetic chalkboard. So we're just going to remove that little lace hanger and we're going to flip this bad boy over and remove the sticker and I ended up having to use Goo Gone and I, all I did was just pour a little bit on there and then I poured some on a paper towel and let the paper towel set on there for about 15 minutes 
and then I was just able to scrape it right off of there. You will need to let the Goo Gone set because as you see, it wouldn't just scrape off after just a few minutes. It needed about 15 minutes. So now the holes that we have from where our ribbon was, we're going to take some all-purpose caulk from the Dollar Tree and we're just going to fill in our little holes and then take our scraper and we're going to scrape off the excess and we'll do that to both holes. And you'll have to just stick the... Um, the caulk like right down like you have to stick the tube right inside of the hole for it to work all right so now i'm going to grab my craft wise chalkboard paint and i'm going to give this two coats of paint All right, so now I'm gonna use the Dream Like Dream sticker from In Love Art Shop, and I will look up the price and post it right here. Um, but so I'm just gonna see what size I need, and then I'm just gonna fold it in half uh, so that I can get a crease, and then I will cut it uh, all the way down the middle and just use half of it for each, for the bottom, and then half of it for the top. Uh, and these were so simple to lay down. They stick really well, but they will come up if you mess up, just like the lace ribbon. So yeah, I'm just going to place that on the top and the bottom. And as you see, I erased what I had had on there because I've had to change this sign like three times from what it was originally supposed to be. Um, but yeah, so and now I'm just going to attach my magnets so I know what size I need to do my wording. And I'm just going to do... Uh, V-Day list to do because I thought that would be really cute because I have this whole little thing set up for me and my fiance for Valentine's Day and then I thought maybe I would change it to menu for that night but all right guys thank you so so much for watching I hope you enjoyed this video let me know what you guys think about the in love art shop products and let me know what you think about these DIYs do you like them let me know all right guys, so I really, really quickly wanted to show y'all the three items from In Love Art Shop that I got for free um, that I didn't use. This was some silver foil and it's hot foil. And then this is a love letter with uh, flowers uh, and it's a stamp. And this was what I was trying to use on the chalkboard, but because of the ink that I had gotten from Walmart, it never would dry. So I ended up not being able to do that, but it was absolutely beautiful if I would have been able to keep it like that. Tell me that this is not absolutely beautiful. All right. So, and then this is the last stamp that I got from them and it is wood columns and it has one on the bottom and one on the top. And I think it is so cool. I just couldn't think of anything to use it for quite yet.